do not replicate what you're about to witness. Go. This is perhaps the world's first anti-door pinching device that not only prevents children from seriously injuring their fingers in the doorways, but also helps preventing doors from slamming. In this video, I'm going to show you why and how I built this and in the process, I'm going to perform crash tests using my own fingers to see if this device is really doing what it's supposed to do. I'm going to also show you some simple solutions using slap bracelet and stuffed animal to make the house a safer place for the little ones. Stick around. Not very long ago, my daughter pinched her finger in the door. Luckily, it wasn't that serious because she was the one closing the door on her own finger, so she stopped. But this could have been worse if someone else was closing the door. In fact, studies published by the US National Institutes of Health have found that among children aged 6 and under who are brought to the ER with hand injuries, around 80% are caused by crushing in doors. While often not serious, it can result in fractures and in worst cases, even finger amputation. Now, if you are like me, you are blissfully unaware of the risk. But if you think about it, the amount of force on the hinge side of the door is multiple times greater than the applied force to close the door. This is a tremendous amount of force concentrated in a very small area which is the edge of the door. As a result, this side of the door can almost crash anything getting on its way. The last side of the door is not as devastating as the hinge side but it still can cause serious damage. If you think about it, the safest place for children should be their home. And me as a father, I have the responsibility to keep it that way. Now, there are different safeguard solutions out there that you can get for a reasonable amount of money. The easiest one I picked from Amazon for about 10 bucks, as an example, is this one here. It prevents the door from closing all the way, but it still doesn't offer protection on the hinge side. It also has a clear drawback in that I have to remove it every time I want to close the door. The other solution is basically a cover that goes along the hinge side between the door and the frame and is kept in place using sticker band. It only takes care of the hinge side of the door, but nothing on the latch side. So these products provide a certain level of safety, but they have some cons as we saw. So we need a solution that provides finger protection on the hinge side of the door as well as the latch side of the door. Once installed, I don't have to worry about it anymore. And it should not leave any permanent damage on the door or its frame after removing it. So this solution doesn't exist yet, or at least I couldn't find in my research. But the good news is, as an engineer, if what you're looking for doesn't exist yet, just make it exist. I mean, after all, it's much easier than balancing a ball on a freaking plate. So I should be able to make this one. So I decided to make a children safe door. One that detects if little fingers are in there and prevents the door from closing if they are. I started with some sketches, then with care and finishing with some cutting and soldering. I also built a capacitive touch sensor that runs along the side of the door frame where kids potentially would put their fingers. Then a small code in the microcontroller will read the input from the sensor and it will engage the witch. The witch or the arm is simply a piece of wood attached to a flexible material to avoid damaging the door or the frame once it prevents the door from closing. After a lot of calibrations and testing, finally the device got approved. Thanks, man. So here is how it works, when I close the door, the magnet switch will trigger the microcontroller to power on through the power circuit using the 9 volt battery. The microcontroller will then monitor whether anything is touching the touch sensor and if so, it will engage the arm and set off the alarm. Ouch. Alright, I will start with the little finger since it's about the same size of the children's finger. So let's see what happens. So 
so nothing happened to my fingers intact i barely felt the uh, edge of the door so all good After I ran a couple tests, I realized that it is safer to keep the arm engaged at all times between the door and its frame as the default setting and have it to go up only if the magnet switch detects that the door is closing and there is no touch detected. This way, even if the device runs out of battery or has some malfunction, tiny fingers will still be protected from potential pinching. And as a bonus, this won't happen. So here she is, a homemade electronic child safety device that probably still needs a cover, although I kind of like it the way it is. But anyway, if you think this is an over-engineered solution, you are probably right, which brings me to this simple hack. Using a bracelet and stuffed animal, you can glue them together and mount them on the door. This way the wedge remains always attached to the door and if you want to close the door all you need to do is to push it away. This way you won't worry about forgetting to put it back. Another option is putting it on the side so the bigger kids can still close the door by themselves. But this doesn't offer as much protection on the hinge side. So I hope you have enjoyed my video and are now inspired to make your home a bit safer for the little ones. After all, even though CS injuries are not that common, it's better safe than sorry, right? Thanks for watching.